Good morning, I'm Polarized Moon and welcome back to RuneScape. We're taking a break from our regularly scheduled questing to do the Halloween event for 2021. So this is going to be the spooky Halloween episode. Um, I, as you can see, I'm not currently a member. I recorded the episodes you're seeing right now a while ago and uh, they're being released over time. So, but we're going to slot this in here because I'd like to, uh, I'd like to do the Halloween event. So let's talk to death and see what we got. It looks pretty similar to last year's event, but we'll see if it's any different. Welcome back, Polarized Moon. It's good to see you again. As a little thank you for helping last year, you can claim silver a silver version of my ceremonial scythe from the spooky shop for free. Thank you. And we have new tasks for you this year if you are interested. Um, oh, daily rewards. Oh, you can miss... Oh, you can miss your daily rewards. Oh, interesting. All right, I'll claim that. Uh, all right. Well, I guess there was one yesterday. The, the quest started yesterday. I guess I, I could have missed, uh, I guess I missed yesterday's one. Uh, what's in the spooky shop? What have I got? Um, confirm. There we go. Legacy. Okay, I, I have, oh, fluorescent ring. Oh, cool. I don't have any of those, so I think I have, yeah, I've got most of this stuff, which is good, because that means that as I'm buying the new things, I don't have to worry about getting those as, as much. Alright, so let's see, uh, what's going on here? Welcome, I've asked various friends of mine to gather in the Draenor Manor for our annual celebration. What annual celebration? Well, almost every year around this time, something scary and spooky happens. Remember when we gathered the Riders of the Apocalypse? Remember when the Closure needed help with their ghosts? As a result of these spooky happenings, I've decided to invite everyone on these lovely manor grounds so we can celebrate. Have fun, and if any problems arise, we'll be no shortage of adventurers like yourself to help. That looks quite exciting, so what can I do? Well, I'm glad you're here. There's a fair few things for you to help with, and I'm sure everyone will reward you for helping them. I almost forgot. A small side effect of gathering so many spooky folk in one place. Every few hours, these grounds will become spookified. Which means- which seems to help adventurers like yourself. Every three hours, a spooky hour. All experience gained within the Drainer Manor is increased by... 2- 2 to 12 percent. Incre increased by completing Death's Pestilence Munchers and Greg and Ed's mini quests. Alright. What activities are there? A group of werewolves have arrived recently. Their leader, Luna, asked me to send help her way. She will find her just northeast of here. As a bonus, if there are other souls floating around the manor, manor grounds, if you help them, they'll supply you with spooky tokens and experience. Similarly, after you've helped others, they'll have reputable, act reputable activities for you to do as well. Alright, so I guess I just have to go around, like before, I have to go around and talk to... Uh, so I need to find Luna? Oh, look at that. There's like... Ravenous skeletons. Oh, this is new. Oh, this is cool. I like this. All right, so let's go find, um, so there's pestilence. And then... She, he said just north of here? Um, maybe. Oh, Luna, here we go. Ah, uh, it seems death has finally found someone to send our way. Who are you, adventurer? I'm Polarized Moon. Pleasure to meet you. I'm Luna. This is Greg and Ed. We're the travelers from Canifs. Hopefully you'll be able to help us with this delicate situation. There's nothing delicate about it. Drainer Village has been beset by hordes of ravenous skeletons for weeks, and our fishermen speak of an enormous monster lurking within the River Lum, attacking their boats. If that wasn't enough, these beasts have been harassing our people. She had it coming, stepping on my poor tail. They stole Martin's beloved pet, Pig Zuki, in the middle of the night. Oh, was that yours? Dearest apologies, my good friend. Oh, spooky time! For what is worth, Greg made a delicious stew out of her. I believe I still have a portion somewhere. Monsters! All you do is kill and destroy. If you came anywhere near our village again, I'll have the guards shoot you on sight. Uh-oh. Well, that could have gone worse. Hardly. You seem to have some trouble with the locals. You don't say. Sorry, I shouldn't snap at you. It's not your fault. It's Ed's fault for killing that pig and Greg's fault for barking at the villagers. 
Yeah, that's fair. Uh, we're gonna have to go above and beyond to resolve this. Sounds like the villagers have a lot to deal with at the moment. Indeed, and that may exactly be the opportunity we need. Greg, Ed, or Ed, Greg, you guys think you can deal with the skeletons and that sea monster he mentioned? Sounds like a sea beast that attacked us when we first arrived. What do you say, Greg? Fancy some monster hunting? What? You, me, alone? Hunting monsters under the scarlet, starlit sky? Exactly. What? Is it? That's what I hear. Sounds like the villagers are being slaughtered by skeletons. Oh no, how awful. I guess I should go help them immediately. Sorry. Uh, I suppose the hunting alone, then. Would you mind checking up on Ed and Greg and making sure they complete their tasks? It's not that I don't trust them, but... I'll give them a hand. Thank you. Greg should be over by the fountain, where the skeletons have breached the manor walls. Ed has set himself around the back of the manor by the river. Got it. Good luck. Thank you. Alright, so these are the skeletons that I saw over here. Fantastic. Ooh, look how big the moon looks. Oh, I love it. Alright, Greg. Uh... What are you doing here, Polarized Moon? Did Luna send you? Uh, she should know that I can handle myself. Well, in most cases, I... I guess these things here aren't looking that great. What's the situation? No matter how many skeletons I slay, they keep rising. I'm struggling to handle them, so no wonder the villagers are. This place reeks of vampiric magic. Must be what's raising them. Unfortunately, it's something that we werewolves are, are used to dealing with. How do you normally deal with it? Best way to fight fire with fire, use their own magic against them. There's an old vampire weapon somewhere near the manor. I can smell it. Maybe it could be used to us. Luna has a way of tracking vampiric magic. Speak with her and see what you can find. Sounds like a plan. Alright. I guess we're gonna use a vampire weapon against the... against the hordes of undead. <clears throat> uh, Greg's request. Hi, Luna. Greg told me that it, you have means of tracking vampiric magic. The situation must be looking dire if Greg is seeking out something like that. Well, he said that it's the best bet to fight fire with fire, and that he can sense a vampire's weapon somewhere on the manor grounds. Yes, I can smell it too. Its stench smothers this place. My mother gave me this compass when I was but a pup. It points to the nearest source of vampiric magic it detects. Place a droplet of blood in its center and it will guide you to what you seek. Please be careful with it. It's one of the few things I have left to remember her by. Thank you. I'll take good care of it. Uh, track. Alright, I guess it's over here. By Muncher again. Uh... All right, track over here, track over here, track. Oh, well, it looks like the spot. You find a discarded sword hilt buried in the ground. There must be a second piece somewhere. I should keep using the compass. All right. Oh, is it way on the other side of the manor? Yeah, okay. Go to the other side of the manor. Okay, what do we got? Uh, there's that old gravestone that I... Actually, I don't know if that episode has aired yet. Never mind. <laughs> oh, is it in here somewhere? Looks like the spot. Oh. Oh, it's like a god sword. I should take these to Greg. Interesting. It's like a vampire god sword. Uh, all right, Greg. Made any progress? I found a hilt and a blade of a sword buried near the manor. Yes, it looks like a vampire weapon, all right. A powerful one at that. I can't say I'm eager to get my paws on one of these, but it's our best shot. If you give me the pieces, I should be able to combine them. Make sure Luna's compass gets back to her as well. You hand the sword fragments and Luna's compass. This should only take a moment. There we go. The sword is complete again. It still seems to be inactive though. Unfortunately, we're going to need its full power to contain this threat. And what's our next move? Vampire blades like this one are empowered by the essence of the enemies they slay. Try using the sword to kill 20 skeletons and see what happens. This activity awards magic experience. You currently have magic XP enabled. Would you like to disable it? Uh, I'll keep it active. That's fine. The Bloodletting Blade. When in combat area, you will not have access to sword abilities, which appear in a minigame interface. 
The whirlwind kills all skeletons in the area around you. The leap allows you to jump to the target destination, killing nearby skeletons upon landing. These abilities are also bound to the one and two keys, respectively. Cool. Oh, I love the look of this sword. Oh, I like it. I hope that's a... I hope that this is a, um... Uh... Uh, I hope that this is one of the a cosmetic that you get afterwards. Because uh, I really like this. Leap. Oh, I can leap at the... Oh, <laughs> I like that. Oh, I like that a lot. Can I... Okay, I was going to say, there's there's got to be a limit to that. Oh, my God. Oh, and they all came back. That was so cool. Oh, I like it a lot. Uh, and... 20. Cool. I killed him. So now... Does that mean that there's four attacks that this thing can do? Not bad, Polarized Moon. You're such a skilled fighter. The sword doesn't seem to have activated, though. Hmm, that's strange. The bloodletting blades of the vampires are definitely empowered by combat. Skeletons don't have blood, though. D shut up, of course I thought of that. Maybe we could use our own blood? No, 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 I'm not getting any of my blood near that thing. It might be the only way to save the villagers. Forget the villagers, I'd like to keep my blood unlet, thank you very much. Use your own blood if you want to, no fur off my back. Well, here goes nothing. You poke the tip of the blade with your finger. Youch! This cursed blade emits a sinister vermilion glow. It's working! Oh, it can talk. Hello, man. Oh my god. It's an uwu sword. Oh my god. Hello, master. It's such a pleasure to meet you. That voice. It's like a hundred pups squealing in unison. As if it's treating us dogs when it's like it wasn't enough. The vampires had to go and create the affront of my eardrums. Werewolves are such meanies, but they're so fluffy and their flesh tastes so sweet. Destroy that thing now. You can't get rid of me, silly. You need me. It's not working, Greg. Or it's not wrong, Greg. Damn it. Where are you anyway? I'm Atelia. Atelia the bloodletting blade. Can you really help us stop these skeletons, Arteria? Of course I can. You gave me your yummy, yummy blood. So you can use to pay my full pot potential. Sounds like you should take it over another spin then. Sooner the better. I want to be as far away from that thing as possible. Your pet has been working an awful lot, Master. Perhaps we should fetch it a muzzle. Let's go and kill the filthy skeleton before Greg tears you in half. Yay, I can't wait to feel the inside of a skull again. It's so warm and mushy. They're skeletons, Arteria. They don't have... Oh, never mind. Two new abilities. Harvest lets out a blood bolt of blood at the nearest enemy that bounces up to five times. The Annihilate instantly kills all active skeletons but has a long cooldown. They're bound to one, two, and three, and four. Okay, so let's do... Let's then do Annihilate. Oh, so we need to kill a lot of them. Harvest. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, I love this a lot. Oh, let's do Leap at you and Whirlwind at you, I guess. And that's all of them, I think. Oh, no, there's one more. Let's leap at you. Oh, no, there's two more. And then they'll activate again. And annihilate. Kill all of them. <laughs> oh, yes. Leap at this guy over here. Whirlwind. Uh, whirlwind here-ish. Let's leap at this guy. Um, harvest. Oh, there's no tag. Okay. Uh, harvest. And leap at this guy. And then I can use Annihilate again. And that should be the last one. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Breaking bones with you is so fun, Master. It gives me all giddy and tingly. Hehe. <laughs> I just don't like that thing. I can't deny the results. Skeletons are still being raised, but at a slower rate. The village should be able to recover. Could use your help clearing out the rest sometime. In the meantime, you should go help Ed. 
He should be somewhere around the back of the manor by the river. I will. Nice working with you, Greg. Yeah, I guess it was nice working with you, too. Don't be a stranger, okay? Don't forget me, silly. What do we do now? I could leave with you, Greg, if you'd like. No. Uh, take me with you. I can't stay active outside the manor grounds, but I want to be there for you always. You give me a little of your blood voluntarily. After all, we're bound by blood pact for eternity and beyond. Yay! Like, Ateria Cosmetic Override. Yeah! There we go. I hope they don't come to regret this. I hope I can use it as a one-handed weapon, because... I like- I like- <laughs> Oh... My god. Let me take a look at this thing. Okay. Sword... Um... Oh, was that it there? Arteria. Yeah, I can use it as a one-handed blade. Oh, wait. Can I do... Arteria... Um... Oh, no. Arteria... Okay, I've got the permafrost sword. Um... Oh, damn. Wait, if I do... Hold on. Let me try... Let me try using it on... Uh, let's put my regular sword back on first. Uh, here. And then now, can I use Arteria on the offhand? Nope. Okay. Well, Arteria, I can use it as a single-handed, so let's do that. Oh, wait. Oh, it is a two-handed one, so it doesn't... Okay. It doesn't affect the... What I have. All right, uh, let's add those to my currency pouch. Um, he's over here. There we go. Hi, Ed. Ah, oh, it's you again, Polarized Moon, wasn't it? I'm Ed, but you can call me Ed. Everyone does. Uh, you help me to hunt this beast? I am? Good, good. I hope you know what you're getting yourself into, though. This creature attacked the three of us when we met first arrived, and it stole something very dear to me. Something and we're going to get back. Did it take your eye? What? No, I lost my eye in a tragic embroidering accident. But anyway, on to business. First, we need to lure the beast out. Unfortunately, I've already exhausted all of my standard approaches. I've tried shouting, taunting, and cursing at the water, and none have yielded any results, but I have one more idea. You see, Greg cooks the most delicious shrimp you could possibly imagine. They're irresistible. I suspect that may be what lured the beast to us in the first place. See, I see if you can persuade him to cook some for us, he should be over by the fountain. I'll see what I can do. I do like that we have to actually go back and forth between the different characters. And it's not just like, oh, here's a thing here, do the thing for him. We ha they we actually, like, all of the characters are involved. Or at least partially involved in all of these. Alright, Greg, I need you to, to... I need you to make a thing. Uh, no, no. Uh, Ed's request. Hey, Greg, I have a request from Ed. Uh, Ed, what does he want? We need you to cook some of your delicious shrimp so we can lure out the sea monster he's been attacking the village. Oh, I suppose I can do that. They do say the best way to wolf's heart is through his stomach. D did I say wolf? Because I meant sea monster. That's what we're doing here. Luring out a sea monster so we can murder said monster and save the villagers. That is our one and only goal here, okay? Sure. Bring me six raw shrimp, and I'll see what I can do. You can catch them in the blah blah blah. Uh, six shrimp coming right up. I have some in my bank, so... Or at least I... I think I do. I might not, actually, now that I think about it. Uh... Shrimp. I do not. Alright, let's go catch some... Uh, he may have said some... That I could catch them closer somewhere, but I was not paying attention, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, does this show up on my active- on my quest tracker? No, it does not. Uh, unless it does. Alright. Let's head back over here. And I can catch some right up here. I, I know where to- I know where to catch things. Uh, net- how many did he say? Six? Alright, that shouldn't be too hard. Shrimps. Anchovies. Anchovies. Shrimps. I need, what, six shrimps? I think he said six, so I'm gonna get six. Um... Four. Five. Just one more. 
Six. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm just gonna head back. I can keep these in my inventory for now. It's not a big deal. Alright. We're doing a thing. I don't know how many... Okay, last year it had, what, four mini quests or something? I don't know how many there are, but we're gonna do them all in this one episode. Um, because I... I want to do them all in one... I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a spooky Halloween event. The... I'm recording- I'm also recording this on the- on the 19th. This episode is going to come out on Halloween. Um, alright. So, it'll be- <laughs> It'll be a couple weeks before you guys see this. But then the rest of the the rest of the series is also pre-recorded by a long shot anyway, so it doesn't make that much of a difference. Do you have the six raw shrimp we need? Here they are! Good. Now, let's add some seasoning. A minute or two on the grill, and there we go. Perfectly cooked shrimp. A uh, batch of delicious smelling shrimp. Send Ed my regards. Wait, scratch that. Actually, scratch everything. Don't mention me at all. <laughs> oh, man. That's hilarious. Sea monster bait. That's funny. Alright, so then I guess we're going to shoot cannons at the sea monster. That'll be fun. Muncher! All right, Ed, I got the monster bait. Have you acquired the bait? Yep, here it is. Perfect. Now, if I have three for myself, that leaves enough for us to lure out the monster and save the village, right? Ed. Okay, okay, sheesh. No need to get your fur in a twist. Ed, end the bait. With this bait, I won't be long the beast comes up for us. I've set up three cannons in advance because the giant... The best solution to problems is always shoot with a giant cannon. This could be quite the fight. Are you ready? I'm ready. Ooh. Oh, that's cool. Shoot the tentacles before they have time to attack. All right. Am I going to have to fire these other cannons too? Yeah, okay. I just don't see other people running back and forth. Oh, come on. I'm halfway there. Can I fire a cannon if it doesn't have a... I can't. Okay. Ooh. All of them. All right. This is not difficult. It's cool. Almost there. And... There we go. Of course. All three. And... Oh. Oh. You've done it! Well done! Fantastic. Uh, fallen tentacles retrieving a small amulet. I feared I might never see this again. Fantastic work, Polarized Moon. Looks like the smaller beasts are being attracted to the monster's carcass. I may need your help dealing with them. But for now, you should go give Luna the good news. Pleasure working with you. Alright. What experience the- Oh, I see. I can just do this. Oh, and that gives fishing experience. Oh, okay. That is actually worth it, though, because I... I do need to get fishing experience. So these are the, the free ones that I need to get, and the, the what I need to get them up to. And I need almost 5, 000, or 5 million experience for fishing to get up to what I need to finish all the quests. Hey there, Polarized Moon. Any luck with Ed and Greg? The skeleton threat has been contained and we defeated the sea monster that has been giving the village people trouble. It's wonderful news. I had a feeling I could count on you. By some miracle, I managed to convince Morgan to give us another chance. He should be here any moment. Hey there, Greg. Cheers for helping us bait out the beast back there. Oh, it was nothing really. Wait, that amulet you're wearing. It's the one you gave me on our first hunt. I managed to recover from the guts of that foul monster thanks to Polarized Moon. Still rather fragrant, but I couldn't attend this meeting without it. It means that much to you? Of course, it was a gift from you, after all. Back when we still hunted together, I miss those days. Yeah, I miss them too. M maybe we could go on another one sometime? Are you asking me out? No, I mean, y yes, if that's alright with you. It's more than alright with me. As happy as I am to have the two of you are finally addressing that all that unresolved romantic tension, now is not the time. 
We're here to ask the village for their forgiveness, remember? And, uh, oh, and to prove that there's more to us than killing and destroying. Indeed, which is why we killed the sea monster that was plaguing your village. And destroyed the skeletons that were attacking your people. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, we also befriended a talking sword. The only thing I love more than my master is tasting the warm, scrumptious, freshly lit blood of our foes. I don't think that's helping our case. Don't worry, Luna. I've already seen everything I needed to. You have? Our lost amulet, gifted on a fateful night, feelings long believed unrequited, two star-crossed friends, too long to be more. To think that such raw, genuine human emotion lay hidden beneath those bestial forms. That's a bit condescending. Shh. How could I bar you from a village after witnessing such a touching display? I'm no monster. Well, I guess everything's worked out in the end. Good job, guys. Seriously. You're very welcome. And thank you, Polarized Moon, for all your help. Please, take these spooky tokens. It's the least we can do. Fantastic. Alright, that's one quest uh, finished. How many spooky tokens do I have? A thousand. Alright. So, let's, uh... Okay, so how many do I need for the... Okay, so I've got... Loba, the 9k, and then the legacy cosmetics for quite a bit. So, oh, and I'm not going to get these until after. So, all right, who's next? Uh, what activities are there? As a bonus, there are other souls floating around with mana grounds. If you help them, you'll supply you with spooky tokens and experience. Similarly, after you've helped others. Oh, okay, so is it just souls floating around? Are they the same ones from before? So, like, what are the... So, if I talk to the the Death's Dog Walker, is this also the same as before? Hello? Uh, oh, yeah, okay, so this is the same as... That's the same as last time. Um, and then... Oh, you know what? I wonder if you didn't do these quests last year they would show up this year and you could do them again. Uh, what am I doing here? The soup. Okay, cool. Um, is there anything else that I, that I can do for this? Hold on, let me, let me look this up. Uh, um, RuneScape, uh, Halloween 2021 event. All right. Uh, Halloween event features multiple mini quests and activities. Um, mini quests. There's three returning mini quests from the Halloween event. The from the 2020 players who've previously completed these will have them completed upon this year and access the activities right away. There's a new mini quest for Luna. Now these are technically mini quests, but are still referred to as such. Um. Speak to death, asking how to help. He gives the player... Hold on. Okay. So I've already done... Okay, so I've already done the quests from before. That That's actually nice that they had an extra one. So I think... Now that's everything I've got to do for this. That's the only new... The only new quest. Is there anything else that I need to... Uh... Oh, what just happened? Um... All right, I'm not entire. Oh, I accidentally hit the fragmented soul. Oh, and that gives me rune crafting experience. That's another one that I need to get up too. Um, yeah. How much do I need for that? Two, two million. All right. Well, either way, I think that's about all the time I've got for this episode. Like and subscribe if you liked the episode. Ring that bell if you'd like to see more. Good night, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Thank you.